Yo, what's going on guys? Happy here and I'm back. Ah, uh, yes. Clash of Clans. Since 2012, people have been asking Supercell to add XYZ. And they've added XY, but not Z. Why are we still here? <laughs> okay, I'm bad at jokes. What do you expect? I don't Supercell has added a number of things that the community wanted, but there's always some room for improvement. A few years back, a player posted his ideas on the Clash of Clans forums. Everyone thought he was crazy, but everything but number six was added. Whoa. So they clearly listened to the community, and today we're going to be going over some things they should add in their game. Now some of these ideas come from the Clash of Clans wiki, some I found on Reddit, and some I just made up out of my imagination. Some ideas do have like concept images, but if they don't, I've tried to create some, so please don't laugh at my Photoshop skills. So let's get right into it. First up is a separate clan chat for leaders and co-leaders to help decide who to kick and whether applicants should be accepted or not. I mean, at least we have the request feature to accept or reject people, but it's not the same, okay? It's not the same, everyone's watching. This one is a bit more of a quality of life change that I like to see, but it isn't necessary. Allowing us to talk to our fellow co's to not only chat about who should get in, but also discuss rules and news and private information that we don't want to share with the entire clan. You could always just download Discord or Facebook. Ew, who uses Facebook? But that's so inconvenient, like needing to download an entire separate app to chat with your co-leaders. And while you're at it, please add a blacklist to stop banned players from ever joining again. Okay, thank you. Number two is clan villages, where all clan members contribute and leaders control. I remember this has been a requested feature forever. I mean, it was cool back then and even cooler now because I believe it's possible. Maybe in 2013, the technology was pretty ancient and uh, it would have been hard to implement. But today we got all the cool stuff and uh, it's time. Well, maybe it's not time, I'm just like throwing out ideas and this one really grabs my attention. Basically the feature in question is a clan village where all members of the clan upgrade stuff on that base or contribute resources to build up a village for everyone. Or it can even be a central hub for the clan, a place you go for trades, challenges. Maybe this is too much to ask for and it'll probably never happen, but hey, people thought Precarious here was crazy with his ideas and here we are eight years later with everything but one on that list added into the game. Speaking of ideas coming true, today's sponsor, Rovio, has taken the RPG formula and made it even better. If it rings a bell, that's right, Rovio are the same peeps behind Angry Birds. This time around, they're bringing us with a new real-time RPG called Darkfire Heroes, where you fight hordes of non-dank monsters with your dank heroes. Whoa. Choose from a massive selection of heroes, spells, upgrade and gear them up and then drop it like a tot. Along with an intense PvP that had me drenched in sweat, there's also a very immersive campaign and dungeons that'll give you chests full of loot and potential new heroes. The game definitely provides that refresh from the genre with its unique ways of controlling the battle. I mean, it's a real thrill. IGN 2021. I can already tell you this game is going to be huge this year. So if you're interested in checking out the game, make sure to use the link down below to download it because you'll also get a new player welcome bonus and you'll also instantly become two times danker. So, I mean, why not? So back to the video. Number three is going to be Legend League Shop. I saw this a while back on Reddit, probably two years ago, and I've remembered about it and I was like, huh, they still haven't done anything with these purple looking trophies. Legend League trophies just sit there collecting dust, waiting for one day for it to be used in some way. Why are we still here? Now you already know what happened to Legend League trophies in Clash Royale. Nothing. <laughs> well, we got a reward, which wasn't really enough, but yeah, you get my point. That's eventually going to happen if they don't do something with it. The suggestion I've seen more commonly around Reddit and other social media is a Legend League shop where you can use those trophies to buy special items or just the same items from Clan War Leagues or the ones you get from the trader or really any item. I don't know. There's no real reason to push and accumulate these trophies other than just showing off. So some kind of shop or at least reward for it would be an awesome feature. 
Next up on number four is random events. This reminds me of this one game I used to be addicted to years back called SimCity Build It. In that game, it had catastrophic events happen from time to time, destroying buildings as it happens, and then you repair those buildings with whatever resource there is. Like in this case, gold and elixir. Now you might be thinking, well, how would that benefit the player though? Well, in these other games, basically when you repair the buildings, there's a chance of it dropping a rare item. So in Clash of Clans, this would be so dope. Imagine picking up a hammer or a book of everything or something for repairing the building. Yes, this seems like a bit of a stretch to even ever happen. At least consider it. I don't know. It sounds cool. It sounds fun. It sounds like it could be a nice twist to the game. Number five is going to be the gem hammer. Okay, this one seemed pretty cool. Basically a gem hammer that would cost about 300 to 500 gems that would make your builders work 50% faster and it would last three to five days. Now, clearly these numbers can be adjusted. Maybe it can cost more or less, last more, last less. I don't know. Now I wouldn't call it a gem hammer though. I feel like it could be a builder's book or something or a special boost of some kind. Because a hammer sounds like it would just uh, like instantly finish everything you had going on. But you know, the idea, the core concept, it sounds cool and I love it. Number six is gonna be a clan bank. You ever just wondered, hmm, instead of throwing away these troops, I wish there was some kind of clan bank I can put them in just in case someone actually wanted that troop. But wasn't on at the time, so I couldn't give it to him. Yeah, this happens all the time. I have some baby dragons and I know someone's gonna want them, but no one is online, so I have to just throw them away like trash. It's a bad feeling. This clan bank would solve a lot of issues, especially in cases where we need to donate for war, but literally no one is on. Maybe having a vault full of stuff donated could be useful in this situation so that you could use some of that to donate in war. Like just pull out troops from the vault and you know donate it to the war, that'd be cool. Another one is ability to choose the first target of a troop freely rather than the closest building. Okay, I've tried my best to visualize this, but imagine that when you dragged your hogs, you could see the building it will land on and be highlighted. I'm no Clash of Clans pro, so I'm not sure if this would be too OP or ruin some kind of meta, but maybe it could be used for something like heroes or troops that have no favorite targets. Think of it as how in Clash Royale, troops have an exclamation point above their head if the troop you're dropping is going to distract it, but instead of troops, it's buildings in Clash of Clans. I also saw this one idea on Reddit called a target spell that works similar to what I just said. If you play Boom Beach before, you know exactly how this works. I think they have that, right? You throw the spell in a specific spot and the troops will head toward that spot and BAM! Simple! Something along those lines of either the spell or the ability to control this could be useful in Clash of Clans. Number 8 is Clan Alliance or Joint Clans with Minis. Let me explain. So maybe instead of global chat, you know, because that was removed, we can have sort of a chat for your clan and its sister clans. So you can all chat in one big place. I know a lot of people miss global chat, but honestly, we don't need it. But instead of removing it, they should have just created something even better. Like the suggestion I'm giving right now is just to make a alliance or joint chat with clans. So if you have like mutiny retreat and then you have a mini called mutiny Hades and then mutiny, I don't know, do do, then you can all chat in the same place and that would be awesome. Number nine is upgrade queue. This is basically an option for when all of your builders are full and you have a lot of resources as well. Maybe add an upgrade queue, kind of like we can queue up armies. Now the only problem with this is that you'll probably be on less because I mean, if you farm all day and you queue up six buildings, then the next time you'll get on is probably like in a month. <laughs> That's not very cash money for Supercell, so maybe you can queue up walls. Say you have 10 million gold and want to queue up a lot of walls to upgrade when you have a builder free. Would that really stop you from getting on as often? For me, it wouldn't. I'd just try and queue up as many walls as I could. Number 10 is single player map creator. Now that we had a Brawl Stars feature where you can create and submit maps and have people playing them, 
I was thinking, what if you can make goblin maps with the same village mechanics we have and submit them? Once submitted, maybe we can have a community tab where every hour or every 30 minutes, it cycle a new map to beat. Firstly though, there has to be a reason to play them, so maybe you can give us rewards or some kind of like point system but there's also a problem with that and is that it can easily be abused with like easy maps instead maybe you can allow challenges from the season pass to progress through those maps as well or perhaps give us something else but i don't really know what if you guys have any suggestions on this let me know in the comment section below now before we go, I wanted to mention some honorable mentions, stuff I found cool but maybe not as important or huge as the main list. First up is increase the gems you get from selling items. I mean, we get so little, it almost feels like I need to use the item instead of selling it. Another one is a day and night cycle. Now this one is probably the least important thing in the world, but come on, it's cool, right? Lastly, we have the battle machine skins. Currently there's no plans to add skins for some reason, so please just consider it at least. Anyways guys, I think that should be it for this list of features that should get added to Clash of Clans. Now I kinda wanna make multiple parts or more of these. Not like a series, but just more of these, I guess. If you guys have any more ideas, comment them down below. There's a ton of things that Clash of Clans could add. But whether if they should or not, it's it's in question, you know? Just let me know down below, have a discussion, and uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, peace out.